Hello everyone. So welcome back to Meet the Keeper episode two here at Creeley. I am Scott, I am the falconer here. So this is Toronto. He is our great horned owl from North and South America. So he rings right across North America and then down to the tip of Peru. So Toronto here will be hunting things like rats and rabbits in the wild. So he'd mostly be using ambush to hunt those prey. Today he's got day old chicks for his food. We're going to be doing a little bit of training on our training line in the field behind me. So this is to make sure he doesn't try and disappear anywhere while I'm flying. I'm going to make sure I can get an estimate of how far he is flying to me as well during that session. So just go send him over to his perch. Okay, and then while he's flying, I'm going to keep hold of his line to make sure he doesn't try and go anywhere. And if he does, I can keep hold of him and I can go and pick him up afterwards. The reason I don't want him getting into the wild is he's actually been raised in captivity, so he doesn't know how to fend for himself. You can also see his lovely ear tufts now he's showing. So they're used for a couple of reasons. First of all is camouflage. So they help, help to break up the line of his head in the trees. They are also used as communication. So uh, right now he's nice and relaxed, they're sitting nice and high. If they were to go flat to his head, he's not very happy. And that's when I take him away, but he's not shown that so far. So you may have noticed at the start, he has lovely yellow eyes. So this tends to indicate that he is a diurnal hunter, so he comes out during the day. Those eyes take up roughly two thirds of his head as well, which means there isn't a lot of room for anything else. But actually, Wise Old Owl comes from the goddess Athena. So she is known as the goddess of wisdom and she has a pet owl. So there's where the association comes from. Okay, so this distance is going to be my benchmark for his training for the next couple of days. So that reaction was slower than I wanted it to be. So I need to work on him reaching this distance. And keeping on this line also helps me to get him to build muscle. So he can only fly so far if he's got enough muscle under his wings. So the birds get trained every single day, weather permitting. So every day he'll fly. He only does one session of feeding each day. So every day they'll be out flying. So this is Toronto's offshore Avery. So this is just a nice and quiet area for him to keep quiet away from the guests. And then we'll slowly introduce him more and more into the park as he's ready to start flying. <laughs> 